Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are talking about 10 amazing products that I tested this year. So if you're curious about that, please keep on watching. First things first, if you're curious about this makeup, I didn't film it, but I will list down below everything that I have on my face. This liner looks amazing from far away, but is not great. I did use the NYX Ultimate Eye Paint to create a yellow liner and let me tell you, it's not good for that. As an eyeshadow, it looks great. I did have a TikTok and I think a YouTube short, yeah, uh, on it. It looks great like an eyeshadow. It works pretty, pretty well and it's pretty simple to blend out. But for a liner, no. I'm gonna include this one in a speed review, so we are gonna talk about it then. I have 10 amazing products in front of me. I think maybe two or three were released this year, but in general, products that I just discovered this year. Let's start in a random order. The first one is actually the newest from uh, all of them. And this one is the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. And I have the shade Ignite. This is the best eyeshadow primer from what I uh, tested. This is the best. It's even better than <laughs> Natasha Denona one. I love it. It blends out very, very easily. It's very creamy. It's very smooth on the lids and it's just great. I like the color as well. They have some shimmery options as well. Didn't test those. I'm not interested in, um, in a shimmery base, but this one, Oh my god, it's a great base and I don't know, the eyeshadow looks flawless on top of it. I love it. The Natasha Denona one is of course a liquid product and this one is a cream. So they are a bit different. The Natasha Denona one is still amazing. I still love it and I still recommend it, but this one is great. And this has actually 18 months of shelf life. The Natasha Denona one has only six. So based on that as well, this is way, way better. And yeah, I love it. I'm very, very happy that I decided to pick it up. This is amazing. Let's talk about two blushes next. One is a cream and one is a powder. I have in here the Melt Cream Blush Light in the shade Sundown. It's a neutral shade and it has, and it has some shimmer in it. Let me swatch it. This is how it looks. It's so stunning. It's very, very creamy, very easy to blend out. I did film a battle of the cream blushes if you are interested, but this one is great. I think this one is the newest one in my collection. I actually have both of these blushes on my skin today. They look just stunning together and I've been mixing up blushes. It's so much fun and they are wearing a lot better because practically you are setting the cream blush with a powder blush and let's talk about this one. This is the Pixi Vitamin C and I have the shade Peach Dew. This is a bit glittery in a sense, which maybe you will not like, but this is so beautiful. Look at it. It's so, so beautiful and it reflects the light so, so gorgeously. I adore it. And these two together, they are amazing on the cheeks. Very, very happy that I have both of them. Let's talk about something for the lips. And I have in here the Catrice Volumizing Lip Booster. This is a lip gloss. This smells so great. It smells, it smells like mints. And the volumizing lip booster part, it's cooling, not burning. And it feels so great on the lips and it looks so juicy. And this is from the drugstore. I adore this product, it's so nice and I'm very happy that I discovered it. I heard no one talking about this product and it's really amazing, very juicy, it feels so nice on the lips and yeah, I think it's a gem and I really like it. And I did discover this one like a month ago and it's very amazing. Next, let's talk about some complexion products and I have in here the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. And my shade is number two. This is a gorgeous foundation. This looks so healthy on the skin, so natural and glowy. I really like it. I have a 
bit of a problem right now. My skin is always peeling, but this foundation looks still great on top of my peely skin. And I really like this one if you have very oily skin. This will probably not be for you. Maybe if you use a lot of <laughs> loose powder, maybe you could make this work. I'm using some loose powder on my T-zone usually when I'm applying this one because it's pretty glowy and I don't want this part of my uh, skin or the forehead to be very shiny. But for the rest of the skin, I could just apply a bit of a, of a pressed powder. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. And it looks so beautiful. I really like it. Beautiful skin, perfect name. Then let's talk about a concealer that I really like. This is the NYX Bear With Me concealer and I have the shade Light. Perfect shade for me. Very happy that I decided to not buy the vanilla one and I bought the light one. Really great concealer. I really like it. It's pretty glowy under the eyes, but it's not shiny or shimmery or something like that. It just looks glowy. And of course, if you put some powder on top, looks amazing, wears great. If you liked the Born to Glow concealer from NYX as well, this is pretty similar in my opinion. I like the packaging better. This is a bit more glowy. It's still a medium coverage. If you have more mature skin, this will look amazing. And I'm very happy that I decided to pick this one up. And then let's talk about a powder. This packaging is very reflective, but this one is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. And I have the shade Resilience. And this one is the translucent shade, but they have uh, more than this one. It's just stunning. <laughs> I really like it. I could apply a bit of loose powder on top of this foundation on the T-zone and then this one for the rest of the face. And it looks so smoothing and so thin. If you have very, very dry skin, this would be perfect for you. If you have very, very oily skin, I don't know if this one would be for you because it's very, very thin. Maybe if you are using a very mattifying primer and the mattifying foundation, maybe you could use this one. But if you have oily skin and you are using something glowy, I don't think this could set your makeup. But this is a lovely powder. This powder is great for touch-ups as well, just because it's so finely milled. So you are applying a thin layer of powder and it looks so natural. I really like this one. The next three products are eye related. So the first one is the Nabla Cupid's Arrow and I have the shade Arrow number three. This could um, have a name, <laughs> burgundy. Anyway, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful burgundy color. Let's swatch it in here. I have some yellow paint from the NYX, um, but this is the liner. It's a great shade. I really like it. It stays well, very pigmented. You could do wings with it. Very great for that. It's blending out very easily, but then it stays in place. Really great. Stunning color. They have mostly more toned down shades or like neutrally but dark shades. I hope at some point they will come out with, I don't know, green, yellow, very bright green or very bright blue. They, I think, uh, have a dark blue. This is great, so I hope they will expand the color range, but really good liner. Next, I have the Physicians Formula Eye Booster, and this is a waterproof, ultra fine liquid eyeliner. This is amazing. It's so black and it's so easy to apply. Very, very pigmented. It's just an amazing eyeliner. I'm wearing it today. Very easy to create a wing with it, even for me. You know that I'm very clumsy, but I still could create a wing with this. It's really great. My favorite eyeliner is the best, even better than the NYX one. It's so stunning. And the last product that I have is the Hella Palette, the Wooden Zai and Anelical collaboration. And this is how it looks. I have a broken mirror, but the product is still amazing. I love this palette. I'm wearing it today, actually. This is great, very easy to blend out, very pigmented, very stunning colors and very good formulas in here. I love this bottom row, it's so stunning. I love this green and this yellow, it's amazing. I'm very happy that I tested Wooden Zai formula. The mattes are so easy to blend out, very pigmented and the shimmers are so special, 
so shimmery and glimmery and <laughs> sparkly. They look amazing. I'm very happy that I decided to pick this one up. So these are all the products, very lovely products. I'm very happy to own all of them. And yeah, so if you like the video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.